Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. I was muted. I'm so sorry. Okay. Uh, all right. <clears throat> Very good, guys. So, uh, how are you guys? How how's your day going so far? It's fine. It's it's quite cool today. <laughs> all right. It was good today. Yes. Yes. In my work, this is a, I I have a lot of time for to resolve many problems today. Okay. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> Why? Yeah, I don't know. It was a, it's some days a, 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 we are some creative, they depend on the circumstances. But the idea is a flu in, in, in the mind. So these days, uh, uh, many, many, uh, I saw many problems at the, at the same time. <laughs> oh, okay. All right, very good. Okay. Uh, that's good, man. So, so you had a lot of. You know, you had a lot of uh, tasks to finish and you yes. were able to finish it this week. Okay, very good, all right? That's great. All right. Uh, what about you, Jaime? How was, how was your day? Uh, so, it's up to date today. It's what? I'm sorry? It's exhausted, exhausted day. It was an exhausting day? Yeah, an exhausted day. Okay, why was it an exhausting day? Because uh, I need to, a lot to do in my office. Have a lot of meeting, a lot of uh, be, uh, virtual meeting with the client and with the my the my my but the employee of the company, and then need to to have to solve a lot of no problem. I solve a lot of situation we need to to complete the, today but at the final was was good because we need to solve a lot of uh, a lot of uh, situation or event or topic that they need to to complete it today no okay so you, okay all right now i got you got you got you all right very good guys Anyways, welcome guys. Okay, welcome Veronica. Nice to see you, Nelson. Nice to see you, Ruth. Welcome back, uh, Carlos, Gio, Rosa, Navas, Cesar, Carlo Molina. I I think we're missing what two, three people. I think we're missing like three people, right? Very good, guys. So today, guys, we're gonna talk about adverbs. Okay, so specifically, guys, adverbs and you know, simple past. Um, and uh, past perfect, okay. All right, anyways, before we jump into that, guys, okay, let's have a let's have a warm up, okay. So what we're gonna do, guys, let me let me show you the presentation, okay. So what you are gonna do, actually, guys, is I want you to answer these questions, okay. I'm gonna get into each of your rooms, and I'm gonna I'm uh, I'm just gonna get your feedback, okay. Now, after you practice these questions. I'm gonna give you 30 seconds, okay? 30 seconds to talk without making a mistake, okay? So that's gonna be like, you're gonna be in front of everybody. I'm gonna have a timer, and then you have to talk for 30 seconds. Well, actually, you know what? Let's do it. I think 30 seconds is enough, guys, because due to the amount of people. Now, you know what? Let's do it one minute, guys, okay? One minute, okay? Uh, so your goal, guys, is gonna be not to make any mistakes, okay? All right, and I'm going to be evaluating five areas, which is grammar, pronunciation, vocabulary, intonation, and uh, comprehension, okay? All right, so first question, guys, how closely do you follow the news? What kind of stories interest you, okay? So, all right, hold on. Let me go back here. All right, so here, guys, before we jump there, all right, this is in the platform, by the way. All right, this is on the platform, I'm sorry, on the, by the way. All right. We have some pieces of vocabulary here, okay? So let's see, um, Michelle. Welcome, Michelle. Michelle, what, what what's an epidemic? Um, it's like a 
a disease, but in a very specific place. Okay, right. I... Okay, uh, an epidemic, guys, isn't it around the world? I think not. Okay, all right. In specific areas. Okay. An epidemic, guys, I think actually is the other way around, right? It's like around the world because, right, COVID is an epidemic, right? All right. So I would... I, I... COVID is not epidemic, it's pandemic. Oh, okay, right. Hey, you're right about that. So I'm sorry, you were right, Michelle. <laughs> it's true, you know? <laughs> it's true, okay, right. Sorry. I'm not a doctor, guys, so I don't know. <laughs> no problem. All right. No problem. Thank, thank you, Dr. Perez. I'm a Perez. Uh, no, no, only, only, for, only for clarification. And uh, only... I'm kidding. I'm kidding. All right. I'm <laughs> All right. I'm ignorant. Okay. No, right. no, not really. But, not but, really. But, but, it, 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 it's only uh, you are. No, no problem. It's all right. It's right. I'm kidding, man. I'm kidding. What's 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 culture? What's famine, guys? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> what's what's famine? Hunger. Okay, hunger. extreme hunger, right? This is like hunger. Hunger. extreme yeah, hunger. Okay. Hunger. What about hijacking? It's like it's like kidnapping, yeah. but in, kidnapping. in the air. In airplanes, yes. Yeah, in airplanes. Not only on, it's on airplanes, guys, not in airplanes, by the way, on because big objects, her position is on, by the way, all right? Mm -hmm. uh, not only on airplanes, guys, but uh, mm -hmm. you can, somebody can hijack your car. Hijack. Like when oh. somebody, right, when somebody takes you out of the car, you know. And, or right, your like, information, maybe. They, they can hijack your information, exactly, right? Very good. Mm -hmm. Kidnapping, okay, what is kidnapping? That's, that's with the person. Someone take, a, take a, another person. Yeah. All right. Very good, right? Very good. Right? Specifically about people, right? You can't yeah. kidnap a car. Okay. All right. Um, what about a natural disaster? Um, something from nature. Very common. Okay. So we have earthquakes. We have tsunami. Yeah, um, Biggest storm. Tsunami is right. Earthquake. Yeah, storms, hurricanes. Okay. All right. Very good. Okay. Uh, political crisis, guys. What is political crisis? <laughs> when a system <laughs> was spread by. It's by, like a protest. And they they are disagreed. No, no. They no, are disagreed. Right. Guys, remember, uh, agree, guys, is a verb. Okay, it's a verb. All right. Yeah. It's like saying run, right? When you say they are agree, just you, it's like saying they are run. Can you say they are run? No. No, no right? How do you say this? They run. They're running. They run. They run. Running. They, run. Or just, they run. run, right? So when they are okay. agree or, or just agree? They agree. They agree, they agree okay. All right. It's a verb. Remember that, right? Very good. So, uh, let's see. The what is what? The opposite. The opposite? Oh, disagree. 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 That would be disagree, yes. Okay. What about re rebellion, guys? What's rebellion? They disagree. <laughs> people with different political views. And... When people disagree. To... Yeah, against okay. the order. <laughs> okay, against the order. Okay, well, when people protest, okay, very good. Recession, what's recession? Recession is in a stop at the economy. At the economy, yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay, robbery, what's robbery? To rob? Yeah, to rob. <laughs> rob or to take Jesus, things. I think. That not, not yours. All right, but what, what, okay, but what happens if I, you know, if you get someone with a gun and they, you know, point a gun at you and then they, they, they take your things away. How do you call that? Well, that's a robbery. No, a robbery, guys, is actually very big. Okay, like a robbery, yeah, is yeah, robbery in the bank. Big. Ah. All right, no, that's called get mugged. Okay. Uh, yes. All right. So that's mugged. What is get mugged? When, when you get when you get it, Brian. I'm sorry, guys. If anybody's <laughs> <laughs> you know, when you get that one, when you get a thug, you know, a thug trying to steal the things from you, you know, with a gun or whatever, 
All right, he's, he, uh, you're getting mugged, okay? That moment you're getting mugged, okay? So that's what it is, right? Scandal, guys. Scandal. They say information. A scandal, okay? A scandal, guys, is? Okay. It's shaming information, maybe. It's a surprise uh, uh, event uh, about anything. Okay, all right. So it's and you will be excited like a big child. Okay, all right. Secret oh. revealers. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, see, what? Secrets. secrets. <laughs> okay, <laughs> right. Secrets revealed, right? Like secrets revealed to the public can be a scandal. Very good job. Okay, I like this class, guys. You you are very you know you you participate a lot. Okay. Anyway, so how closely do you follow the news? Okay, and all these three questions, guys. Okay, so you can answer like. Remember, guys, to sound fluent, what do we need to sound fluent? You need to talk about the what and then the why, right? And then here, guys, it's optional. You can talk about, right, this is optional. Here you can talk about the when, you can talk about the where, the how, uh, the who, all right? Now you can talk, you, you, can, you can talk about it, about, it, uh, about any, you know, um, topic you can give out you can give your opinion about any topic like this okay oh hey what's your favorite movie you know what my favorite movie is interstellar why you don't actually have to say right right why right but my favorite movie is interstellar the reason i like it so much right or because you can say because right the reason i like it so much is because um it's a movie related to how the future will be like if, if we if we you know about the time into, maybe teacher ran into the, the 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 world's population um hunger blah, blah blah okay so yeah you can talk about the time whatever right i'm just giving an example but yeah so you can you can say guys okay you can say like the place it takes i mean the the place it takes um it develops you know itself or you can talk about uh the time it you know the time it takes place in uh, who are the, you know, who the protagonists are and, and so on and so forth, right? So, so that's how you would sound fluent and that, that applies to any language, okay? So now do my favorite guys, please. Uh, can anybody take a screenshot and send it to the group? I hadn't seen you. Welcome back, Adriana. All right. So, did you take a screenshot, guys? Yes. Yep. All right. Awesome. 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 All right. Do me. Do me a favor and please uh, send it to the group, and then I'm. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna evaluate you right now, okay? And I will, guys, go through each of your rooms this time, okay? Right. All right, let's go, guys. Uh, hello, hello, guys. Hello, teacher. Ruth, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, great. I heard you. Hey, did, did you send it to the group? Oh, yeah, Michelle did it. Okay, right, thank you. Uh, I, I don't, oh, yeah, I see it now, I see it now. There you go. Yep. All right. Okay, good. Um, how closely do you follow the news? Afternoon, Jordana. <laughs> Hi, Jordana. Welcome. How are you? Yeah. All right. I, I'm sorry, Veronica. I brought you back here because Jordana uh, just came in. Okay. So if okay. you mind, uh, so we're we're practicing right now. Okay. And I'm gonna be evaluating you. The point is that you practice right now because afterwards we're gonna go back to the main room, and I'm gonna evaluate five errors. Okay. The point is that you have to talk for just one minute without making any mistakes. Okay. So that's what we're gonna do. Today. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All 
All right, you good, Jordana? I'm just trying to check the audio. Oh, OK, we can hear you. You can hear right. me? Yes. Clearly? OK, it's clear. Clear, so clear as do we? vodka. So, so uh, Veronica can share the information with you. Take a look at the WhatsApp group, OK? All the, the questions were sent there, OK? OK. OK. All right. OK, great. She's seven years. Sorry? He's seven years old. Seven years old. Oh, it's, a, it's a little one. Uh, yeah. I have a yeah. girl. In, she is eight years old. You know? Ah. Yeah. Um, uh, well, okay. in, my, in my case, I, I don't like the news uh, because... <laughs> <laughs> maybe I think so sad and sick when I heard uh, a lot of uh, mm -hmm. the, uh, right. yeah, uh, the crisis Is that the yeah uh, mm -hmm. I try to unfollow actually I don't have a TV uh, a cable TV service I just have internet in my, in my, in my house because okay. I, I, I usually don't watch TV I I just to mm -hmm. use, uh, you know, Netflix, Disney, um, YouTube, uh, mm -hmm. some kind of things. Um, uh, about people uh, try to 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 improve uh, their life. Mm -hmm. uh, the entrepreneurs, for example, yes. I, I like to try to to take a song. Some examples about there. Mm -hmm. That's right. Uh, there is a, a channel on YouTube called DW, I think. It's a, it's a German channel, and they usually post uh, news about uh, many different things. It's from around the world. And it's really interesting. Enjoy so much that kind of program. I would. Yeah. Okay, and how, um, what kind and how closely? How many times per week, for example? <coughs> Sorry. Like I said, I, I don't really follow news much, but or when I watch the news, I try to 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 watch the the technology and and history and paranormal. All, all kind of not thing. too much, no frequency. No, not really. Okay, no frequency. Okay, the second well to develop new technologies, and that's why we have cell phones now. Uh, for me, there uh, there are two situations that improve. New technology. Uh, one is the bad one, the war, the war, uh, the fight, the gun, all that kind of thing. Develop new technology. But another situation that develops new technology is uh, the discovery. Oh, uh, yeah. Going on the planet. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. And I think that, well, that's interesting to me, and I like it. Yeah. Now I'm going to ask you, okay. what do you think was the worst, the most important story the last few years? Uh, I don't know if you can hear, but I think that for me, the most important uh, was the, about the COVID because it's about the pandemic uh, because I have never, we have never been in this situation and- Experience. Um, well, yeah, and I don't know. And all the, the whole world were in wonder. How are you doing, guys? Pretty teacher. Yeah. 
for answering. Okay, uh, I mean, but you need to speak because you're gonna you're gonna go back uh, and you have to speak for one minute without making a mistake. Okay. The three questions, right? Yes. Three, three, oh, questions, okay. three questions. Okay. All right. Very good. Thing is not good. The uh, how you need to change a structural changing to to develop the well to have a, a enough opportunity to for the the young people to live here to have an opportunity to 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 get a good job or get job to so, survive in it, to live and then that difficult difficult here it was yes. uh, in a few years no? yes i agree but but uh, I think this is the 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 more the, the most important for El Salvador is to how to get a, 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 a big a big market because in El Salvador is a small country. Is 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 we think about the only El Salvador uh, ignore the other market more uh, big bigger is um is the is the worst situation. Uh, for the develop the economy is important uh, before the the the, the, um, the 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 give the opportunity at the young men is is important to grow grow the 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 the, the economy is first uh, so i agree too about that uh, this is the, <laughs> the most situation yeah. in this moment the most, in this moment is the most situation news that's uh, yes is the, the the after after the pandemic is the, the most problem is the economy I think this yeah 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 and what about do you think or how do you think about news about the celebrity and the sport uh, you you need you have some uh, specific story about or the news about celebrity. Mm, I, I think this is uh, I, I I don't follow the this uh, news about that is uh, in, in this moment I, I think the most important is the the uh, the pandemic and the economy and the political crisis in El Salvador I don't know so much about the 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 the, the sport or the others or the other uh, kinds of, of, of news. Is uh, I don't know. What about you about that? Sir? Celebrity, not really, but the sport. Yes, uh, the, you need to to follow something news about sport, about soccer. Uh, so, uh, Barcelona. <laughs> not really follow Barcelona. <laughs> I need to know that the the sport in Europe, or like a Germany in Germany in France, France. Uh, Italy uh, or in, in England, you know, that the, you, I follow something news about, you know, that the, right now that the news is about, about or oh, something celebrity or sport called, it's like uh, that the Messi is f probably uh, quick uh, with the with contract with Barcelona and then he probably go to the Europe or England or France to continue that this is that, uh, but uh, Messi is a person who have a rich man right now because have a lot of money that the the economy really that the economy of the sport in in in, in Spain around uh, about him no that the all uh, that the economy or the or the big uh, uh, soccer soccer team that they is that they was very difficult difficult to but uh, the is is uh, Messi uh, with with contract with Barcelona what, what was uh, affecting a lot of the uh, the I don't know the credibility of of soccer soccer in, in Barcelona probably that no real and, and only that but for celebrity real I don't know follow 
Yes, yes. I, I, I prefer the other, the other, uh, the, the follow the other news uh, the, about uh, is uh, than than the history celebrity, the celebrity history. Uh, so it's uh, for me my, my most my most favorite favorite is not uh, follow the news. It's more I, I enjoy the reading and and very the situation the more important about the the mindfulness is the other. But see, I, I, celebrities, I, I, I don't like uh, follow <laughs> that that news. <laughs> We don't we don't eat uh, with the, about his celebrity won a lot of money or win a lot. Hey guys. All right. Okay guys, so uh let's play the game, okay? I'm gonna shorten this up guys to 30 seconds because because I will give you feedback as well. So um so we're gonna see guys the areas of Grammar, pronunciation, vocabulary, and intonation. Okay, so these are um uh, these are actually the, the four areas that I'm gonna evaluate. I was gonna evaluate comprehension, but that is irrelevant here since you already know what you're gonna be talking about. Okay, all right, guys. So real quick, okay, you got 30 seconds, guys, to answer as many uh, as perfectly as possible. Okay, now do me a favor, Gio, if you're so kind. Would you please set the timer, right? Set a timer on your cell phone, okay, to 30 seconds. Uh, and, and you say stop whenever the 30 seconds are up, okay? Uh, wait, wait. Yes. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Uh, that's good? my turn. Oh, no, my no, turn. no, 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 it's not your oh, turn. What? No, you're going to be the one in charge of the time. Ah, okay, okay, <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm ready. Okay, all right, very good, okay. So I'll start with whoever I see first, guys, okay? So Rosa Navas, okay? You got 30 seconds to talk about one of the questions from the exercise, okay? So three, two, one, let's go, Rosa. Okay, nope. I was interviewing to Gio about the three questions. The first one, who closely do you follow? He told me that uh, he is fanatic of the technology news and he, enjoy watching the TV, but just um, like um, geographic channel or history channel as talking about all cultures, right? Like, uh, like uh, Roman culture or- right. Good job, right? Plus for Rosa. Good job, Rosa. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, Rosa, so this is, this is your feedback so far. Okay, so, so far we got interviewing to Geo. This is a grammar mistake right here. Okay, so uh, remember guys, so when you use a verb, all right, you need to use two in between, right? You have to use the noun, okay? So interviewing Gio would be the right way to say this, okay? He's a fanatic of the, of the technology. He's a fanatic of technology. When we talk about generality, generality, we don't use the articles that, okay? So we, he's a okay. fan of technology, and you don't need to say fanatic. And you say fanatic, or I think, all right? Uh, also, vowel sounds. I'm, I'm not going to focus too much on vowel sounds, okay? Uh he enjoy, right? Third person. He enjoys, right? We need to add an S here. Uh, those vowel sounds and uh, talking about old cultures, you said. And it's cultures, okay? Um, cultures, okay? So this is a schwa sound, all right? Talking about old cultures, okay? okay? So grammar, all right? So grammar, we still had, well, hold on. One, two, three, all right, four. All right, so here we have, <laughs> all right? So there, there is four mistakes here, okay? Pronunciation is just the vowel sounds, okay? Uh, so that I'm gonna give you three here. All right, vocabulary. The vocabulary was good, okay? I'm not gonna give you any fun here, so good job, all right? Intonation, uh, intonation is pretty thick, okay? So I'll have to give you a five here, okay? <laughs> because of intonation. But intonation is okay. because of the vowel sounds and the consonant sounds, okay? All right. So four mistakes in grammar, pronunciation, three vocabulary, no mistakes. Okay, in intonation, pretty good. Okay, so applause for Rosa. Good job, Rosa. All right, very good, all right? So uh, let's see. Next, Michelle. Let's go, Michelle. Okay, I'm going to talk about the last question. And I don't think that celebrities and, and news about sports can be in the same category. 
because I think some news from celebrities, they are fake. And sometimes people do not care about that. However, when we, when we talk about sports, that it's like more real because we are talking about um, countries uh, playing against each other. And those news can be even more important than the ones about celebrities. So uh, by the way, some news about celebrities are pointless. You don't get anything from that. Uh, just to know. Good job, all right, Michelle. Yeah. All right, Gio, I think that was more yeah. than 30 seconds. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay, right, you, you, okay, you're right, you're right, you're right. So I'm sorry, okay, but the, yeah, that was more than 30 seconds. Good job, okay. That was really, really good, okay. Uh, grammatically speaking, you did not have any mistakes. Zero mistakes right here. Well done. Uh, pronunciation was really good, okay. I'm just going to give you one because of epsilon. You say sports, all right? Sports, mm -hmm. right? Just sports, sports right? Very yeah. good, okay. All right. Uh, and, uh, and, and you know, the, the epsilons. Okay, I'm actually going to give you two here. Uh, epsilon, I'm sorry, uh, the schwa sound because this is countries, right? Not countries. All right. Uh, vocabulary, that was perfect. Okay, zero mistakes here. And intonation, it's just the vowel sounds. Okay, I'm going to give you two here. Okay, but this is it. Okay, really good job. Mm -hmm. Only two, two very minor mistakes. Okay, but grammar, that was great, which is the most important part here. Okay, good job. Applause. For Michelle, guys, really well done, Michelle. All right. Next, we have Carla. All right, Carla. Let's go. Hi. Hi. I am interview Adriana, and she shared with me the, about celebrities and sports. I was talking to her about celebrities and sports. That. It depends on the perspective. Um, we just talk about celebrities and sports because they're real, they're real Fine. people. Good job, all right, those for Carla, all right. All right, very good, okay. Uh, so re really good job, okay. Um, I th There was a lot of background noise with the dogs, so I'm not, I, I, w I wasn't able to, to listen too well. But uh, so far, really good. I didn't hear any mistake in grammar, so well done, perfect. Okay, pronunciation, you say sports. It's sports, okay, just sports, right? Uh, epsilons and final consonant sounds, so that's two over here. And then we have, you said pers perspective or something like that? It's perspective, okay? The intonation is different there, so I'll, I'll give you a three here. Very well done, okay? Good job, all right? Applause for Carla, all right? Very good, all right, next we have uh, Jaime. All right, let's go, Jaime. Get ready, Gio. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm waiting. <laughs> Go ahead, Jaime. You're muted, Jaime. All right, let me go through somebody else while we wait for Jaime. Okay, Nelson, let's go, Nelson. You are muted too. Mal de teacher, eh? right? Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> right. Sorry. Well, um, um, we 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 talk about a news history, but uh, I I I think that uh, she 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 uh, she don't like uh, news because uh, she is a a younger girl, but uh, they they say that like uh, to. To follow news about the politician and about the the pets or or some some animals. Um, and Time. Good job. All right. Good job. Those were Nelson guys. Okay. All right. Good job, Nelson. So Nelson, we got one because it's we talked. All right. Now we talk. We talked about. All right. You say she doesn't. I don't know if you she want doesn't. to say she doesn't like or she didn't yeah. like. Okay. So that's two. Uh, she doesn't. Sorry. She's, uh, she's a younger girls, okay? Uh, yes. You're using an article with a plural noun, uh, and also there is no pronunciation in the final, I mean, in, with between girls. It's girls, not girls, okay? Uh, and then you say about the politician, about politicians, because I think that you were talking in general, okay? So here you had, you had one, two, 
Three, four, five. Okay, right. So we had five ground mistakes in 30 seconds. Pronunciation was mostly good. All right. Uh, but you had gears. Okay. Talk. That's two. All right. Uh, and politicians, right? Okay, so we got three over here. Vocabulary. Vocabulary was good. All right. Intonation. All right. Intonation. Final consonant. I'm just going to give you two here because you, uh, intonation in, in vowel sense was the only thing. Okay. Sure. All right. So this sure. is, these are Sorry. your, go ahead. What, what is the difference in the pronunciation between the pronunciation and the intonation? But pronunciation, intonation. Yeah. Pronunci yeah. So that, what, what do you mean? I think he said that the intonation it would be when you ask the question that what is about and the you know when In, intonation it's a, it's is high, a, a, low. oh you're you're uh, saying what is the difference between pronunciation yeah. and intonation okay yeah. pronunciation pronounce exactly the intonation is the music okay this is music yeah. all right and also guys when you pronounce something like instead of saying young younger you would say something like younger right. Uh, that, that would okay. be another intonation, right? So where, wherever the stress, you know, in the syllable is, okay? That's intonation, right? Very good job, all right? Applause for Nelson, guys. Well done. All right, let's jump over. Uh, let, let's jump into the next participant. Now person would be Carlos de Leon, all right, Carlos, let's go. Um, okay, um, I will talk about the, how closely I follow the news. Uh, in my personal case, uh, I don't have TVs. Uh, the, cable TV service, so I, I don't watch news. Uh, first of all, because I don't like it. Um, I think it's boring, it's always the same. Uh, if I am interested in something uh, like the, the politicians, the news or the pandemic news, I prefer to use Twitter because in that platform right. I can- Good job, applause guys, well done, okay. Well, well, well done, all right. Now, the only thing that I'm going to put in here is intonation, right? Because the same thing, right? That's that's not the right intonation in English, but really good job, man. Great grammar, great pronunciation, vocabulary, perfect, man, all right? Really, really good job, all right? All right, plus for Carlos, guys. Good job, Carlos. All right, very good. Uh, next up, we have uh, Jaime. You ready, Jaime? Yes, I'm ready. All right, let's go, Jaime. 30 seconds, Gio. No. Yeah. Yeah, I, I was discussing the, the topic with Ricardo. Uh, Ricardo uh, have a, uh, tell me about what is the situation. Uh, he's uh, worried about, uh, about political situation in El Salvador and the pandemic too. Uh, he worried about to, to know how is the develop, develop, development the pandemic uh, around the world. And then uh, he have uh, another topic to have right. uh, worry about economic situation. Okay, all right, very good. Good job. All right, applause for Jaime. All right, Jaime. All right, Jaime, all right, Jaime. we do have to talk, uh, I mean, to, to work on your grammar structure. Uh, you said Ricardo have instead of Ricardo has. You say he's worried about, he's worried about, so here, you, right, you need to add, an, uh, I need to get something else here, which is called that. Uh, ED endings, okay, worried, not worry. His worry doesn't exist, okay? All right, then we have final consonant sounds. Then you say he worry about, again, he worries, in this case, if you're talking about third person, right? He worries, all right, about, all right? And then two, this is not used here, okay? About the development, perhaps, okay? And then here, there was a whole mess that he worries about the development uh the of the pandemic perhaps around the world all right so there were a lot of consonant sounds there okay i mean consonant final consonant mistakes there okay so uh grammar we have one two three four five okay right so this is five here okay pronunciation all right we had i think we also have five let's see one two three four five six seven eight all right we got Eight right here. All right, vocabulary, it was good, man, all right? Intonation, all right? Intonation is also pretty thick. Right, I'm gonna have to give you a three here. But other than that, very good job, man, all right? Applause for Jaime, guys. Good job, Jaime. All right, don't worry, man. Just keep practicing, okay? Very good. All right. Uh, 
All right, guys. So now we're gonna uh, I'm gonna have to stop this exercise, guys, because it's 15 people. All right, we're gonna continue, guys, with this on Monday. All right, so practice. All right, right now I wanna jump into the um, real quick, guys, review of um, the adverbs of time. Okay. So now, guys, when we talk about the adverbs of time, this is what we got. Okay. Now, what do they represent, guys? What do they help? How do the adverbs of time help us? To specify uh, time when we do an action. Okay, very good. Okay, so they specify time when we do an action. Huh? What else? All right. So afterwards, Qualifies guys. Qualifies the verbs. Okay. All right. They qualify the verbs. All right, an adverb, guys, an adverb actually, guys, it modifies, it can modify an adverb, it can modify uh, an adjective, it can modify a verb, but it cannot modify a noun, right? Only adjectives would modify nouns. So adverbs modify the other three things, okay? Adverbs, other adjectives, and verbs, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, very good, very good, okay? All right, so when we talk about afterwards, all right, we're talking about the future. All right, when we talk about uh, later, later is it, is, it, is it future or, or okay. past or present? It's the future, the right? Future, the future, the future. Futures. Okay, very good. Okay, so we, we're still talking about the future down here. All right, uh, the next day. The future, future, right? Future. When? It's when? any time. Any time. All right, any time. Very good. Okay, it's an adverb for any time. As soon as. It's in, immediately. Uh, immediately. Okay. Very good. Okay. I mean, it, this could be about, you know, the present. Actually, this could be any time too, guys. Okay. Because you can say, as soon as I got this car, you know, or you can talk about the past, right? And also, guys, all these guys can be used for from the past to the future. Okay. All right. Anyways, the moment. Okay. The moment. All right. Any time, time, right? Very good. Up until then, it's that was the past. Okay. Before past. that, okay, the past. past. Until that time. Past. Past. All right. And this could be, you know, uh, any time too, guys. Actually, very good. All right. All right. So uh, these vocabulary, guys, these adverbs are on uh, on the platform. Okay. So if you want to take a look at them, go ahead. So, so what happens with the adverbs of time? Okay, we can use them with, not only guys with, with simple past, which is what we're gonna see right now, okay, not, not only with simple past and past perfect, but we can also use them with other, um, with other tenses, okay? So for example, guys, okay, let's, let's use one of these, okay? So let's talk about uh, simple past examples. Let's use afterwards. Can we use afterwards with simple past? Yes. All right. Give me a sentence. Sorry, Jordana, do me a favor. Give me a sentence in simple past. I went to the supermarket. Okay, so I went to the to the supermarket. Okay. All right, I went to the supermarket. Okay, and then coma afterwards. Right. I went to the supermarket. Or you can actually say I went to the supermarket afterwards. Right. If we were talking about something else. Okay. But yes, guys, you can say, I went to the supermarket afterwards, or I went to the supermarket, afterwards. comma, afterwards, I went to the movies, yeah. okay? All right. With, all right, all right, very good, okay, all right, we, we should not forget that, okay, very good, okay? All right, Guadalupe. <laughs> Hey, I like that again. Like Tropicalize. Dua Lupe. <laughs> All right, guys. Hey, that was pretty good. All right. Very good, guys. Okay. So notice, guys, there are two scenarios where we can use this. Okay. The first one, right, we're talking about an event that happens afterwards. I mean, that happens in the future from the past, guys. Okay. We have a line down here. Okay. So there is a line down here. All right. We got the past. All right, and then we have the future here. All right, and then there is the present, right? I'm sorry, I'm using a mouse, guys, to, to write this down, okay? Okay, so uh, that's my best, okay? All right, 
So the event happened, let's say that it happened here. When I say guess afterwards, what do I mean? Do I mean the present or am I still in the past? The past. I'm still in the past, guys, okay? All right. So when I say these sentences, guys, okay? If I say I went to the supermarket afterwards, it means, it means that I am, I'm here. If I say I went to the supermarket afterwards, I went to the movies, it means that the event happened here. And then afterwards, right, it happened right here. All Got it? In the all right, it's, it's always in the past, right? Very good, all right. Now going back to the previous, you know, to the adverbs that we saw, guys, all right? Let me ask you this, okay? Can we use them all with, present, with, with simple past? Can we use all these adverbs with simple past? Not all. No. no. For example, the next day, no? Can you can't say the next day? It's in the um, past, no? You can. can you know, say, wow. I went to the supermarket the next, next day. Day? Yes. The next day, I no. went before. I can't day. say this. All right. All right. Before. You can say that. It's Why grammatically not? incorrect. Um, could be. Why? But Why? Not, uh, an action that you did the following day, but always in past. The following, yeah, the okay. Following, the following, following day, right? Very good. Okay. All right. So if we talk about that, guys. Okay. Technically, I we 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 can't. Okay. But we can substitute that with the following day. Okay. It is not grammatically incorrect. Okay. Actually, guys, you can use pretty much all of this. Okay? Um. Let's see. I went to the supermarket until that time. Can I say this? Yes. Yes, it's possible. Yes, guys. Can I say, I went to the supermarket before that? that yeah. Yes. Can yes, I say, possible. I went to the supermarket up until then? Yes. Yes, you can. Yes, guys. OK. okay. I, I went to the supermarket as soon as I found out they had a promotion uh, on uh, Coke, on Coke? Coke. <laughs> I don't, all right, can mm -hmm. I say this? Yes. Yes, yes you can say this, yes. guys, okay? Mm -hmm. I all have right. a question. Go ahead. Um, do adverbs have a specific place where to go in the sentence or they can be anywhere like the beginning middle or the end good question they can be in the beginning the middle or in the end but it changes the meaning all right mm. so you can say for example um let's use i went to the supermarket okay because that's the only thing i know i went to no guys let's use okay right let's use do a lupe right do a lupe lupe do a lupe right do a lupe do a lupe the Lupe, um, what? The Lupe. Teacher's house. Okay, visited. Very good. Okay, visited the teacher's house. Okay, very good. Right. <laughs> so you can say okay. All right. So here you can say, I mean, you can say later, right? If you're talking about something else, right? If you have been talking about something else, guys, you can use later here, right? So later, do a Lupe visited the teacher, the teacher's house. Okay. Or you can say, Dua Lupe later visited the teacher's house. Or Dua Lupe visited the teacher's house later. later. Got later. it? Now, that, guys, doesn't happen with all the adverbs that we have here, though, okay? You have to experiment with them, okay? All right. But, mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, okay, adverbs, guys, usually can be placed at any point in a sentence, but it changes the meaning, okay? Depends on what you want to say, guys. You're going you're gonna to place them at a specific point. Uh, from the sentence, okay? Did that answer your question, Jordana? Yeah, thank you. All right, very good. All right, so uh, so moving on, guys. What about uh, what about past perfect? Remember, what's the structure for past perfect? Subject, have uh, had, uh, past participle. Subject plus has. Uh, had guys, okay, just that. Yes. Okay. Oh, plus, plus, had. plus verb in past, verb in past participle. 
plus compliment. Plus compliment. Very good. Okay. All right. Plus the compliment. Okay. Good job. So can I say, guys? Okay. Uh, she had gone to the supermarket. <laughs> All right. No, you, you know what? She had gone to the movie theater. Afterwards? Yes. Yes, does it does this make sense to you? She had gone to the movie theater afterwards. Afterwards, what? Hmm, what about yes. this? No. No, me not make sense. Does it make sense to you? It makes like, sense. Like yes, teacher. All right, no, here guys, okay. With the, pro the the thing is that when we talk about when we talk about past perfect guys, right, to we're always talking about like the present, the future, right? And then we got the past. Okay. All right. Anyways, so past perfect guys always talks about let's say that something happened here, okay? Right? An action happened here, okay? With past perfect guys, we're always talking, always guys. All right, we're always talking about an action that happened before a certain event in the in the past. Okay, that's what past perfect is for. Right, I'm sorry about the my neighbors' dogs, guys. <laughs> mm -hmm. They're all crying. All right, very good. So, anyways, okay, we're always talking about that. Okay, so here, guys. Okay, now with that being said, do you think that we can say, you know, she had gone to the supermarket afterwards? Now, is there a way, if, 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 you, if you see that that doesn't make sense, is there a way to say that, okay? What if I say, you know what? Um, she had gone to the supermarket. You can say when, when it's a, a promotion. All right. When, when like, the when price it's a promotion. is, 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 is um, up. Okay. All right. Let's see, guys. All right, here, guys. I needed to use adverbs in the past, okay? All right. There are some some of them that you can use for future reference, but you, uh, if you use afterwards, that won't make sense. Why? Because we're not specifying a specific event in the past before this, okay? All right. So you can say, you know, she had gone to the supermarket before I arrived. See? All right, so we're talking about an event that happened before an event in the past, okay? All of these guys, when you're talking about simple past, imagine that you cannot change time, guys, okay? So these are events that cannot be changed at all because they're all, they all happened in the past, okay? All right, so you can use before. Can you say, um, I don't know, let's try to use uh, the later, guys. Teacher, and you can use when instead of before in the same sentence. You can say, yeah, you can you can use when, right? It changed. You can when? say uh, when I arrived, or or when when she had come back home. All right, when she had come back home, I had already cooked dinner. Okay. All right, so this is a way, another way how you can use. It. Okay. Or you can say as soon as okay, as soon as I arrived home, or as soon as she had finished cooking, I I what? I arrived. As soon as she had finished cooking, I arrived home. I arrived, okay. All right. All right. All right. I arrived starving. <laughs> all right. I, all right. I, I, okay, very good. I arrived starving. Okay. I, I arrived with my friends. But I'm let let's now. let's be let's be inclusive here, right? As soon as she, he, okay. As soon as he, he. had finished cooking, all right. I arrived starving. Right? Arrived all right. Very drunk. good. Okay. <laughs> you, you, you smell it. All, all right, very good. Okay, good job. All right, so uh, let's see what else. Okay, so can we use guys the moment? Can we use the moment? Mm -hmm. Can I use the moment? 
the moment I, uh, I, I have finished the call. At the moment I have finished Dinner. the call. Oh. It started to shake. You can say, okay, here, guys, you would need to do it like this then, okay? All right, it started, it started uh, to shake the moment I had finished the call, okay? So you can use it like this, right? Ooh. All right, so if you notice, guys, I mean, most of the adverbs sometimes can be used with both sentences, right? So if you go to the platform, guys, okay, and we take a look at the expressions that we have here, all right? Now I went too deep into the details, guys. On the frequent, oh, I'm sorry, not the frequency adverb, guys. Okay, the time adverbs. Okay, I went too deep into that. But there are just a few scenarios here, guys. So these one, these ones are pretty easy, right? So when we use when uh, when we used to something, I mean, when we describe something, guys, that happened at a, at a later time, we can use afterwards, we can use later, we can use the next day, we can use lap, okay? And this is used with. Can we use this with simple past and past perfect? Yes, it's possible. All right. Okay. If you notice, guys, this is in simple past, right? Now, what about the adverbs, guys, that describe two things that happen at the same time? All right. Now, these guys, okay, we can still use them with past perfect, okay? It's not in the it's not in the the, the, the assessment, guys, but yes, we can use them with both. Uh, with both uh, 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 tenses, okay? Sorry, my neurons didn't connect there. All right, so, okay, we can use them with both, right? But here, guys, when two things happen at the same time, in simple past, guys, you can use when, okay? So, hey, I called my mom or I called my girlfriend or I arrived home when I saw the cat, you know? Or... I, I, uh, I don't know. I ate what? Um, uh, I don't know guys. Uh, I, um, uh, I got home when my dog jumped over me. All right. See, so what was the action that interrupted me when I arrived home? The and action the jumped over. Over. The okay, jumped over, they jumped over me. Okay. Oh. All right. And here, guys, okay, right, up until then, before that, until that time, you know, we're using past perfect, right? Now, the same examples I gave you, right, guys, okay, that's, that's like, way too deep. These ones are really, really, really easy, okay? We're going to do an exercise about this on Monday, guys, but uh, so far, guys, before we leave, I'd like to ask you if you have any questions so far. No question? Don't worry, guys. Okay, yeah. uh, we'll play a game on Monday, right? About mm -hmm. about uh, past simple past and past perfect. Okay. Uh, now, guys, before we leave, guys, one thing that I want to bring out, uh, bring up, guys, is uh, the platform. Okay. So let me just share. Hold on. All right. So here, guys. All right. You have to finish uh, section two. All right, there is the knowledge check here, guys. All right, so just, just FYI, guys, okay, this is well, this is about the topic that we were just saw, right? This morning, I was on my way to work, and then an action interrupted me, right? So what would be the answer? All right, go back to, the, to this video, guys, and you can see the examples of the adverbs that we are using here, okay? Just follow those three simple examples, okay? All right, anyways. After the guys, you have the listening exercise. This is pretty easy. The one that matters to me the most, guys, is for you to finish the midterm, okay? Yeah. The midterm, guys, okay, which is this, okay? You have to send me the progress, guys. Send me a screenshot, guys, of the progress of the section two and the midterm, okay? All right. Then we're going to review, guys. We're going to review the midterm and the last section, of sec uh, the last part of section two on Monday as well. Uh, remember, guys, send me a screenshot of the progress. And if you have any questions, please send me your messages to WhatsApp. I might take some time to answer your questions, guys, but I will try to do my best to help, okay? okay. Sounds good? Yeah. Great. All right, yes. guys. Guys, have a very nice weekend. 
Nice Bless you all, guys, and uh, have a good night, guys. Take care. Thank you. Be safe. Thank you. Good night. Happy weekend. Happy weekend. Bye.